Hi guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. Tuesday is my super long day. So here we go, here's what I'm wearing. outfit of the day and here's what I'm taking with me to work. Okay, so this morning I have two Nespresso capsules. I actually ran one of them twice for some weird reason. So I'm probably gonna have some weak coffee, but I have only two Nespresso capsules for zero smart points. And then I have four tablespoons of Dairy Star fat-free half and half for one smart point. So my coffee is one smart point. I have my Timmy tea here. This is the Timmy Skinny one teaspoon of Timmy Skinny with a splash of lime juice. So that is zero smart points. And then my lunch over here, I'm pretty much going to assemble at work. So I have one of these smart buns. Um, if you wanna find out how to get smart buns, there is a link in my description box with a discount code. So smart buns are one smart point each. Here's my smart bun, I'm gonna make an eggs benedict. So my smart bun for one point, here's two eggs, and I poach these in the microwave at work in this little cup. So I do them one at a time, just fill the cup halfway full with water, then crack the egg in, and then microwave for about 55 minutes to one, 55 seconds to one minute. So, and I do those separately. So two poached eggs for zero smart points. And then I'm going to have, um, this light Jarlsberg cheese. I'm gonna have two slices of the reduced fat Swiss cheese. Two slices is two smart points. And then this is the WW Hollandaise sauce, which looks like this. The WW Hollandaise sauce is one smart point. It has actually different packaging now, but it's the same Hollandaise sauce, and it is one smart point for plenty of sauce. So my Eggs Benedict total is going to be one, two, three, four smart points. So everything I'm having before dinner tonight is going to be five smart points. It's 72 degrees out here, and I just wanna say how bad I feel for all of you guys who are like in the negative 20, 25, 15, 50 below. I feel so bad for you guys, I'm so sorry. And I really wish I could send some of this California sunshine to you. It says poor air quality, and I do see it does look a little smoggy, but 72, I'll take it. And I promise not to complain about being cold anymore. You guys stay warm. Okay, job number one, check. Off to job number two. I work a lot. I feel like I work a lot. I work every day of the week, so yeah, that's a lot. Um, let's talk about protein, because today's lunch was so much more filling than yesterday. Even though yesterday I had quite a bit of volume, I had the two Olay wraps with the coleslaw and one packet of tuna divided between the two Olay wraps. Not enough tuna. Um, although it was a good, decent amount of food, it did not sustain me and fill me up long enough. So today I had the two um, poached eggs, I had two slices of cheese, and I think that the smart buns have a bit of protein in them as well. So today, much more protein. I feel much more satisfied. I'm not hungry at all right now. Um, and I had lunch at probably almost four o'clock. So um, it's about, it's a little after six now. So I shouldn't be hungry right now. However, definitely a big change yesterday versus today. So what do you guys think about protein? I love carbs. I will always have carbs in my diet. I ate low carb for probably 10 to 12 years. Yeah, I said years. So um, I love carbs now and I know that I can have carbs in my diet and still maintain a healthy weight. So I'm not gonna give those up again. Um, but I also sometimes tend to forget how important protein is. Protein is really, really important, not only for our bodies, our muscles, um, but also for feeling satiated and really carrying us over from meal to meal. So what do you guys do? Um, what are some of your favorite protein packed lunches? And I say lunches because for dinner, I usually almost always have some sort of protein and it just, it, I don't know, it seems easier because I feel like I'm having a full meal, so it's easier to incorporate protein. However, when I'm having lunch, I try to keep my lunches fairly light um, because, I don't know, <laughs> I just like to eat a light lunch. So what are some light options that you guys have for protein packed lunches? Something that will be really filling and satisfying and tell me if you eat a lot of protein um, hopefully none of you guys 
totally up to you. Um, but I personally don't believe at this point in my life in cutting out an entire food group because it doesn't work for me. Um, it did, I would say it worked for years, but I can't sustain that right now. And I don't want to um, deny myself the carbs, the sweets, um, so even the fruit. So I am and will always be eating carbs. That's why WW is so much the program for me because it's so flexible. I get to eat whatever I want. I get to have bread or not have bread. I get to have protein or I get to have extra protein. I get to have whatever I want. So I love WW so much for that. But I want to hear all about protein. What are some of your favorite protein picks? I haven't had cottage cheese for a long time, and I don't know why that just crossed my mind, but that sounds really good. I need to get some cottage cheese. However, I am on a bit of a challenge. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. but um, So I did my budget uh, for February, and you guys know I just moved out on my own, so I am responsible 100% for all my own bills and everything. Did my budget for February. Here's my goal for February. I have so much food in the freezer, in the cabinets, in the refrigerator. My goal for February is not to buy any groceries. That's right. I'm not going to buy any groceries the entire month of February. So I will, you may see some new things from me. You may see some odd things from me as I'm eating through the stuff in my cupboards and my cabinets. Um, but I'm probably not going to be rushing out to buy one specific thing just to have one specific thing. So I probably won't be rushing out to buy cottage cheese. Um, however, I do need to buy cat food. So, you know, it's balance, give and take. Can't starve the cat. So that's my goal for February. I'm going to have I no groceries. I'm buying no groceries. And believe me when I tell you, I'm not going to starve. I will need to be creative with my points at some point because not everything in my pantry is WW friendly, but so much of it is. I have literally so much food, I'll be fine. Um, but anyway, back to protein. What are some of your favorite low point protein picks? I love fish so much, I can't get enough. But the amount of fish that I eat, because fish is not super filling to me like chicken or beef is, so the amount of fish that I eat um, it's just so pricey because I have to have at least five ounces and eight ounces more of a perfect serving size of fish for me. I don't know why. I know it makes me sound like a pig eight ounces of fish, but it doesn't fill me up that much. Eight ounces of fish to me is 100% different than eight ounces of beef. Am I the only one? Anyway, fish is one of my favorite proteins and I, I cannot get enough. I also really love eggs, um, but I I think I forget to have them because I think of them more as a breakfast food and so I forget that I can incorporate them into dinner or lunch or whatever as well. But I did today and it was very delicious. So tell me um, down below what you guys would pick for your high protein, low point lunch options. Um, I'm headed to WW right now. Today is my super long day. I feel like I have a lot of energy right now though. And I'll tell you why. It's because I got 10 hours of sleep last night. So I do feel pretty good right now. Um, work was super busy, but I, it was also very productive. And when it's productive and busy, it makes me feel good. So um, I'm just, boo, I'm on a roll. Um, so I feel pretty good. I'm going to a WW workshop, then I need to go to a meeting, then I'm going to go home and make dinner, and I will definitely be ready for bed at that point. So no time to go work out today, and that's fine. Um, but that's my plan. So I'll talk with you guys later. Okay, everybody that keeps making pizza on the Team Living Large Facebook page is giving me <laughs> serious pizza cravings. So this is what is for dinner tonight. I made pizza. So I used Joseph's Pitas. Um, mine, I, my two pizzas are four smart points together. So what I have is 15 Hormel turkey pepperoni for one smart point. I have three fourths a cup of fat-free mozzarella for one smart point. And um, some tomato sauce, just some basic tomato sauce for the sauce, zero smart points. And then I have two of the Joseph's oat bran and whole wheat pita breads. 
two for, actually two is three smart points, so my apologies. So this is five smart points. So two of the pita breads for three points, the pepperoni is one point, and the cheese is one point. So five smart points for two little pizzas. That's my dinner.